Hello everybody, welcome back to Premier League uh, table reviewing now. We've never done this before on the channel, but you guys are about to see it. Now we're going to be reviewing the Premier League table for this season, who came last and who came first. Now we're starting off in last place, 20th, Sheffield United. Now they got relegated on seven wins. Now they've only had seven wins all season, two draws and 29. Uh, losses now you're thinking about this team last season they were in they were in a really good spot right they were mid table you wouldn't expect them to go down to 20th lost in the league but that's exactly what happened I mean last season they won a lot of games I can't really remember what games but I know but if they are surviving in mid table last season they shouldn't be down here therefore absolutely Awful and a disgrace. Let's go up to the next one, which is West Brom at Chalbion in 19. Now, you look at West Brom, yeah, okay, they only came up to Premier League this season, but I really do think that they should have survived longer. Now, you see, they, you know, they, they don't let very, um, a lot of goals into my team, do they? Brighton Albion, they normally draw or they win, like they beat us before, but this season, but. I mean, they've played 38 games a season. They've only won five of them and 11 draws. I mean, yeah, 11 draws and 22 losses. It's, a, it's like they, they haven't won as much as Sheffield United, but they haven't done as bad. Like, they drawn more. Didn't lose as many. They didn't lose as many. But if you're a West Bromwich Albion fan, you, you wouldn't expect this from your team. No. You'd expect them to stay up on their first season. If they can like keep them good, like they they played well against Liverpool um, at the beginning of the season. Okay, you you would expect them to stay a bit higher up the table. Um, I think. Well, I'm actually going to rank what team, uh, what place I think Nice should have been. I'd say Sheffield United first. I should be mid table. West Bromwich Albion. I'd say 16th. They should have been. Now we move up to Fulham in 18th. Now Fulham, absolute disgrace. Honestly, this is a team who really, really are capable of staying up. But the fact that they didn't absolutely shocks me. Honestly, they, they, they really shouldn't be losing uh, the Premier League like that. It's shocking. It really is. But, you know, they, they, like, they, they've done the exact same as West Bromwich Albion. What would they draw more? Five wins, 13 draws, 20 losses. What's going on with these teams at the bottom three, eh? Five wins and seven, are you taking the mick? What was that? Absolutely disgraceful. Now we move into 17th place, which is Burnley. What a dirty team. But did they survive on enough points? Yes, they did. They survived 11 points clear of Fulham in 18th. So, hey, great. What? Congratulations. That's what I was trying to say. Not great, whatever that means. But, you know, it's just random. Oh, right, right, right. Well, um, anyway, they've had 10 wins, 9 draws and 19 losses. I mean, Burnley supporter, it must be depressing as hell. I mean, doing all of this is it, shocking, really. So, you know, a big team like Burnley, you'd expect them to at least end off 13 for, or 14. But, fair play, I mean, the manager himself, he, he's amazing. Now we move up to 16 and it's Brighton and Hove Albion. And that is just shocking. Only nine wins this season. They played 38, like every single other club in the Premier League. They really, really should have gotten a lot more. They bought their results a lot more, yeah. They could have been in European football. They need a good attacker. All they want. Danny Welbeck, you're brilliant, son. Stay for the Albion. But something we do not want in our team is something like Neil Malpe. Hits the post every five seconds. It's even a post and a bar. The Android shots are the exact same for you, mate. Apart from Leo, you can be good sometimes. So, therefore, I think, you know, you should be a bench warmer. <laughs> buy someone like, um... Right. We should buy Deeney from Watford. I know he's coming up to the Premier League, but he needs to be in a better club. Watford, okay, they're decent, right? But, you know... Well, not a better club though. Brighton and Albion are definitely not a better club. But he needs to come to them to make them a better club. That's what I'm trying to say. Now we move up to 15th and it's Southampton United. Now Southampton 
did survive, um, you know, a lot more than, um, than, well, Burnley did for a starter, and two more points off of Brighton Valbion, who would have ended 15th. I predicted Brighton Valbion to end 14th. Uh, by the way, I'm going to go through Fulham they should have ended off uh, 17th. Burnley relegated 18th. I would say Brighton and Albion uh, in 14th, like I said, and Southampton United. Actually, I'm going to put. I think they should have been 10th mid-table. But um, anyway, back on to this. I've only had 12 wins, but yeah, that's a lot better than Brighton Albion. That's like uh, I think that's yeah, three more points than um, Brighton Albion. You know, got which for. I mean, three more wins than Brighton Valbion got. Fair enough. That's good, isn't it? They only got after draws Brighton Valbion, but they lost more than Brighton Valbion. But should Brighton Valbion be ahead of them? No. You know why? Southampton United, incredibly strong. Therefore, like I say, they should have been 10th. Now we move on to Crystal Palace now. I say this club is a rival of my team, but are they really that bad at football? No, they're not a bad team at all. You know, they, they're 14th place in the Premier League and that's around mid-table, isn't it? It's a good place to, to start off. It's a really good place to be, to be honest, 14th, because, you know, you're you're nowhere near relegation, uh, like Brighton are, for a starter. And um, they've got the same amount of wins as um, Southampton, just one extra draw and one... Well... Southampton United got one more, you know, loss. So, uh, therefore, Crystal Palace, I'd say, you should have ended off first. 13th, mate. If I haven't said 13th already, I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, now in 13th for the Hampton Wanderers. Now, this club is a club who should have ended off in 8th. Now, if you look at, well, Hampton Wanderers, they do normally, you know, end off in the Big Ten. But, no, tell you why they ended off in 13th. Because they've only got 12 wins. That obviously means they're not focusing that well, does it? Focus, Wolves. All you had to do. You've lost 17 of your games. Even Brighton and Albion had a better record than that. Come on, Wolves. Eighth is what you should have been. But therefore, if you're going to play like that next season, 16th for you. Now in 12th, and I'm absolutely stunned by this because it's Newcastle United at the end of the day, isn't it? Newcastle in 12th. You're joking, right? St. Maximum, he's a good player, right? But most of the season, they didn't have him. Well, at least some of the season. Um, they lost, like, 3-0 to the club. And then they came back and uh, they beat clubs. I think it was... I think, I believe it was Leicester as well who they beat. Um, but fair play to them. I'm not going to predict the table anymore because I, I, I can't remember what places I put. Anyway, Aston Villa now in 11th. And you know what? Fair play to you. You're a good team, Villa. You got a good keeper, and you won 16 games. Therefore, you are just—I I can't say much about you, really. You just focus a lot, and you know you're getting them results, and you've got quite a lot of wins this season. Fair enough, but keep it up, boys. Just don't lose that many. 15. Now intense, smacking mid-table. It's Everton Football Club. Everton. At one point, I thought they're going to reach European football. Unfortunately, they didn't. They ended up 10, but. Mm, what was there to say, really? Everton, you know, you, you should have ended fourth or fifth, but, you know, you you, you, you tried. But unfortunately, you left um, in tenth. Right now, we're in ninth place, it's Leeds United. Now, if you look at Leeds, you know how good they are. You know they have a talent. And... I believe, because I watch Fogden's YouTube channel, and I always watch it a lot, um, I think they've held on to, um, mo I think they are the best team of holding on to Leeds in the whole league. Which, honestly, I think, number one, is stunning. And number two, mate, that makes them a proper team. Being there as a Leeds United player, you must be really happy. Especially you, Patrick Panford. Bamford, Bamford, Bamford. Anyway, now in eighth place, it's the club I hate the most. It's Arsenal Football Club. Yes, you just heard it right. I hate you, Arsenal. But, tell you what, I love your kit. It's amazing. I really want that kit, but I can't wear it because I hate Arsenal. I'm never going to wear it as much as, it, you know, it's hard to buy. But I really do think, really, that um, you should really... Um, you know, just 
focus a bit more on uh, winning your game. You want, I mean, uh, surviving, because you've lost 13 of them. And, and, you know, if you're normally top place, you know, you're normally like, you, I say, yeah, like fifth or fourth, maybe third. Um, you normally only get like two or three losses, but fair play. Now in seventh place, we have Tottenham Hotspur. We're going to have to speed this up a little bit now because not long left on my recording space. Spurs, really good. Harry Kane, unfortunately, is leaving the club. But therefore, they've been in really bad form this season. Um, and overall, they really shouldn't have been in the Premier League. Same with Liverpool, which I'll talk about in a bit. But, well, now in sixth, it's West Ham United. Just about missed out on European football. However... A club like that, who normally end up 15th and now are in 6th, I find astonishing. I mean, you've got Jesse Lingard, you've got Antonio, they're, they're both amazing players, but my question is, where are you, Antonio? Haven't seen you for ages. But, yeah, no, that, that is better than, you know, Spurs' results at the end of the day, so uh, they've gotten better than Spurs. Now in fifth place, it's Leicester City, a team of some skill. Now, you've got Jamie Vardy, he hasn't been the best all season, but... He's guessing on a bit, that's why. But, um, you know, he's not always going to be the same Jimmy Vardy, is he? But, you know, he he's a good player still. He, he's a massive piece of Leicester City. Um, and I, I really do think when he goes and leaves the club, they're going to miss him like mad. But all I'm going to say is keep it up, Vardy. Now in fourth place, we have Chelsea, the UCL champions. Yeah, you got Super Cup to go next, mate. Villarreal versus Chelsea. I think it's in June, I believe. Um, but they won UCL last night. UEFA Champions League. You bagged it against Man City, all three points. Won the Champions League. Won goal to nil with Havertz. What a goal, must I say? Because somehow, some way, he's ran straight past the defence and. He's done absolutely astonishing in that finish. Really good though, Chelsea. Fourth place. Now in third place, we have the one and only Liverpool. You never walk alone, lads. You never will. Mid Liverpool, you may have lost a lot this season, but the last five games were absolutely astonishing. You've won 20 of your games and lost nine. Which includes Brighton Albion, of course. But, but Liverpool, you're in third place here. You're meant to be the champions, but... It's only one season, I guess. Fair play to you. Now we get to the two final second places. Manchester United, really, Manchester United have, you know, gone out there, destroyed it for the Premier League and made it really hard for the to beat them. They got 21 wins, 11 draws and 6 losses. Still, 6 losses is quite bad on top of the table. But the reason I say that is because I've looked at other Premier League tables, right, and they have, like, 2 losses, 3 losses... Things are starting to change a bit, and I, I understand that, but step it up a little bit, Man United. But either way, you've done well, and you're in second place. Now we move into first place, and it's the champions of the Premier League, but the losers of the Champions League. Now, Champions League, unfortunately, and uh, I, I hate to say it, Man City, but you lost. And I'm not trying to grab it in your face, I'm not trying to rub it in your face at all, because I wanted you to win that a lot, but... Being a, if you're a City supporter, you know it's going to be quite annoying to lose that because it's Chelsea in the end, at the end of the day. Chelsea have more history than Man City, but Man City have a better team. Chelsea won a 2012 UEFA Champions League and they've also won the 2021, I mean 2020 UEFA Champions League. Uh, uh, amazing. I, 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 I'm lost of words though for Man City because they've won so many games. 27 and only lost six. I was moaning a minute ago about how clubs always normally get free wins and stuff like that. But this club, it's not about, you know, you know they got six more wins than Man United. They got like six more, I mean, they got like seven or six more, I mean, less draws for Man United. It really does make them a better team, doesn't it? They've, they've lost six, but you see how champions at the end. You see how? I mean, Premier League, so the PL champions at the end of the day there we are who's your favorite club this season mine is definitely west ham united who's the most club you've seen change this season west ham united i mean uh but there we are you know west ham united they just don't drop points too much do they but anyways 
make sure you like and subscribe we'll see you next time uh, and the next video I'm really hoping to be is what should it be talking about the season to Brian Ralby and that probably won't happen but if you guys want to see that then of course that's a bit boring but it's, you know you can do that if you want you can ask me and I'll put that on that's the only reason it's age restricted by the way is because uh, we can get comments in otherwise it doesn't allow me to do them for some reason in uh, on kids friendly ones but anyways thank you for watching see you guys next time goodbye